Next game, Super Chinese. Super Chinese. I don't want to play the game. Why? Is it because you're racist? Because I am Japanese. <laughs> Japanese hate Chinese. You know? Yeah, but these are super Chinese. So I hate it. Is that no. what it's called? It is super Chinese. Yeah. I really hope it's a restaurant management game. <laughs> ah, it's going to be tough. Uh, we do, in fact, stream Nintendo 64 games. Um, arcade games, no, because we are running these on. The original hardware. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's one thing that I think you will probably never. Ooh, that's two very rich. I'm thinking you'll probably never stream from an emulator right. because it's more exciting that you have the hardware. That yeah. You've gone on adventures to find the games and the hardware to use. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. This game is older than all of us. <laughs> Me too. I'm in the side. <gasps> Okay, all of them look like they have pumpkins for heads. Yep. And that's not me being racist. Oh, hang on, your microphone is being picked up. There we go. He's just giving us some feedback there. Oh, man. Well, I think I recognize this song. I totally know this song. It's oh, like I got beat up. I wonder if this song was in the uh, public piece. domain. Oh, I, I got beat up again. It's definitely, uh, when I think of China, I think of Bob Rick Drew's blues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Quick, run! Go to the door, go to the door! You've got a uh, customer. You have to bring them some noodles. <laughs> Which games for 64 do you prefer? I prefer... Pokemon Snap! Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I like Pokemon there. Snap and uh, Mario Kart 64. Oh wow, I just died right away. I prefer uh, Goldeneye, but we haven't found a copy of that that wasn't prohibitively expensive. Yeah, it was like 30 bucks for yeah. a game well, that's 30 that's, years old. That's not, not bad. Really. Yeah, it could be worse. Like we're willing to pay 50 bucks what next week for Zelda? There you go. That's a that's a brand new Zelda. Though. What other N64 games do you like? Smash. Smash Bros. Smash Bros, yeah. Uh, we mainly focus on just like weird, bizarre stuff that uh, that we find uh, in stores. For example, Super Chinese is just all <laughs> kinds of weird and bizarre, and I could not pass that down. Have, uh, have you found some weird and bizarre in 64 games? Um, I found some... not really. I found like the, the typical ones, like... Uh, I don't know, I got um, Pokemon Stadium and such. I think I've got uh, Super Mario 64. That might be yeah, I might you've be got dead. Oh. Woohoo! Oh, run, run, run. Aw, oh, game over. We are it turns out we are not super Chinese. Let's try that again. That's a lot of levels. Neat that they uh, included uh, multiplayer. But uh, oh, those guys just fighting each other? No, I think they're just punching at random. Okay, do you think we have to get to a certain score or something before we can? Oh, I punched a rock. Uh, I got a one up. There's a key. What? 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 Bonus stage? I got shot by a bullet! This what happens when you try to use Kung Fu versus a gun. It's true. Are those apples? I think it might be apples. Uh, 15 seconds on the clock. You got shot by a bullet too. <laughs> and then we start off at the beginning. All right, I got the uh, the puzzle box in that in that one uh, horror movie. And I think that gave me some money in that rock. Oh, here's Andrew. What kind of 
Alrighty, no son. You made it in time for a super Chinese. Oh, I think I killed you. It was a mistake. Welcome to Super Chinese. Hello, viewers. I've got to get into the elevator. Yeah. Oh. Michi's not in the yeah, game anymore. Like I just did a uh, front flip over me. Oh, and then I died. I'm still alive. Really good. That's really good. It sounds gross, but. It's like got some money out of a box. Oh, I yeah, forgot that that frisbee know. thing just kills me no matter what. Yeah, I feel like they stole some uh, some audio from. Uh... Oh, you can jump. I feel like whenever there's a question mark bubble, it's just money. Uh, you might notice that there's a, uh, a swastika in the top uh, bar. It's not actually a swastika, it's the, uh, the old um, Shinto symbol. <laughs> I jumped over somebody and got a thousand points. I wonder if you can just like pacifist mode this and not deal damage to anything. Oh, nope, I jumped over a dude and that just killed him. You guys hang out a lot, you must be getting really good. Alright, we're just about done uh, Super Chinese. And then we get to move on to uh, the officially licensed Ghostbusters Famicom game. I've got some fond memories of the, uh, I guess that was Sega Genesis Famicom. Uh, Sega Genesis uh, Ghostbusters game. Um, but uh, I've never played you know, on the panel account, obviously. Like, 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 <laughs> yeah, and in that uh, next episode, which Maybe is coming up been, in like, uh, about uh, uh, a minute. And you keep asking her to date other <laughs> uh, If you're watching live, I'm gonna show off yeah. a sweet, sweet yeah. stack of goodies. Uh, welcome, Bad Breaks, to Super Chinese. That is actually the name of this game. <laughs> it happens. Oh, and there's a uh, there's like a, a, a brick walking along. Looks like um that monster that oh that guy touched me with his toes and that made me dead. Oh, now oh, come on, game over. That's it for. Super Chinese! Yeah. Stay tuned for Ghostbusters. It's like, I'm too stressed to think about going on with the